Joining us now, a very special guest, the Union Minister, Hardeep Puri. Thanks very much, sir, for being with us. We'll get to the entire theme of um, a green transition, sustainable growth. But I wanted your thoughts first on what is happening in the Red Sea and the potential impact to our trade flows. Uh, we've already seen attacks taking place. Are you worried uh, in terms of the impact it might have on our economy? Uh, Vishnu, I would have been surprised if you had not uh, opened with the Red Sea question. Oh, good. Because so I, I no, no, right but that, no, no, it is you know, not only the right question. I think it's a uh, it's a subject which is inviting increasing attention, uh, a fair amount of concern. But if I were to take that to worried, I'm not there yet, and I say that for good reason. Uh, first and foremost, I think. All the state players involved in this, as against the non-state actors which are responsible for this. Uh, all the state players, I'm not convinced any of them genuinely wants uh, to see a conflagration of the situation and break out of hostilities on a larger scale, number one. Right. There will be people who will be pointing fingers. It's not for me to make an assessment whether the non-state actors acted on their own or with some... Uh, uh, you know, feeling that they would be backed up by uh, uh, others. Right. But on the other hand, look at the converse. If you have to unleash Bedlam, then why uh, use one? There are other non-state actors with far higher degree of lethality right. who could have come in. My view is that any attempt to uh, disrupt or cause uncertainty, even of a perception variety only, in any of the sea routes where it, which um, uh, are used by global trade is a matter of concern. Right. But at the same time, I think uh, there is enough maturity and wisdom around to be able to navigate, literally, and that word's a pun, navigate around this. I see that um, maybe some of the um, uh, players involved were not ready for the changes of a very far-sighted nature which were going to take place. Mm -hmm. For instance, the rapprochement between the uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and uh, Israel, for yes, instance, yes. between Iran and uh, Saudi Arabia or others. Now, when this happened, I'm not saying that this is the causation. It resulted in some uncertainty. But what I would say is, today, none of the state system, and that I say with 39 years of uh, uh, practicing diplomacy behind me, I think no, it's in nobody's interest today. The global economy is in a very, it hasn't had a hard landing, but it's not a... Uh, no, not you, ra you raised an important point, sir, when you spoke about, or you were referring to the Middle Eastern Economic Corridor, which we were very hopeful about starting in a finite period of time. Then the war in Israel uh, and uh, and Hamas has started out. Do you believe that that has now moved into the back burner no, indefinitely? No, no, not, not at all. Because of uh, equations in West Asia, no, between I don't, I don't, say, I don't, Qatar and Israel, etc., etc. No, 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 but those equations have had left fault lines even earlier. I mean, when the announcement of a Middle Eastern economic corridor were made, I don't think it was anybody's case that it would take place day after tomorrow. Right. You have to start up. I think all the basic infrastructure, the intent, everything is there. Mm -hmm. It will take a little time, but I think uh, when you have hostilities of this kind, uh, you know, uh, drone attacks, missile attacks on merchant shipping, yeah. etc., taking place, you don't talk about these corridors then. But I think it's only a matter of time before uh, some serious introspection is done by all those who can influence, and I use the word influence to moderate uh, and um, help this, and I, 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 I'm cautiously optimistic. Iran is obviously a key factor. We have an excellent equation with Iran. We have for a very long period of time, and yet uh, th there is evidence of the use of Iranian weapons uh, in the Red Sea, potentially even on the attack which took place on a ship deep in the Arabian I would, Sea. I would, I would hold judgment. They, your part about our excellent relations with Iran bilaterally are absolutely true. I think Iran uh, discussions are taking place. I think uh, the foreign minister was there. Yes. I think other people are there. And I think, as I said, I made a pretty strong categorical statement that I don't think it's in any state actor's uh, interest just now to allow this situation to spiral out of control. Minister, thank you thank very you much for speaking to us. Thank you very much.